Hello and welcome back to UCCX Administration and Scripting course series. My name is Anas. I'm a senior collaboration engineer with CCI certification. In the previous video of this series, we have explained how UCCX handles time of day, day of week and holidays that fall on a particular date. We will take a quick recap about last session using script screenshot and then we will come back to today's session where we demonstrate accommodating holidays that follows perpetual calendar. This is the script that we have used in the previous session. Here the script accepts the call and then we are defining a date string variable and assigning the current date to it. And in the next line we are defining an if statement where we are checking whether the holiday 1 or holiday 2 is equal to the value which is present in the date string variable. And if the statement is true, then we are playing a prompt to the user that the business is closed for holiday using the play prompt variable. And then the control is moved to the label one using the go to statement. And the label one is defined in the bottom of the script. And we will be playing a prompt to the user a by message. And if the statement is false, then the control is moved to the day of week section where we will be checking whether it is on weekend or a weekday. If it is on weekend, again, the script will be playing a prompt to the user that the office is closed for weekend. And then the control will be moved to the same label one where the user will be hearing a by message. And then if it is on weekday, then we will be checking for the next condition, which is time of day, where we will be checking whether it is on business hours or off business hours if it is on off business hours then uccx will be playing a prompt to the user that the office is closed for off business hours and then we'll again go to the level one to play the buy message and if it is on business hours then the control will be moved to the next statement which is the label zero and right below that we have a menu script uh, which we have explained in detail in previous video. Coming back to today's session, we will see how we can accommodate a holiday that follows perpetual calendar. For example, Memorial Day, which is observed on last Monday of May. So if you notice that we don't have an exact date like December 25, right? Rather, we have a day of week and week of the month. So let's see how we can include these kind of scenarios when scripting for handling holidays. For that, we'll be using the same script and we'll be adding one additional if statement to handle the holiday that follows the perpetual calendar. To make the demonstration simple, let's assume that today is the Memorial Day and today's date at the time of recording is July 8th. So this holiday falls on second Saturday of the month, July. Now the logic that we are going to apply is we have to identify the day of the week. Here in this case, it is Saturday. And Saturday is taken as seventh day of the week considering Sunday equal to one, Monday equal to two and so on. The next thing that we have to identify is the week of the month. In this case, it is second week of the month. That means the date of the month should be greater than or equal to 8 and less than or equal to 14. So without further delay, let's get into the scripting. Here we have open Cisco Unified CCX editor. For the sake of the session, I have already recorded the message that we need to play to the user if, if they call on the memorial day. Now let's open the off business hour script. And we'll expand it we'll be concentrating on an area between accept and the if statement basically we'll be adding another if statement to handle the holiday which follows the perpetual calendar right so before we add the if statement we will define the prompt variable here type prompt name memorial day now the value login 
applications prompt management en uccx training and this is the prompt variable that we are going to use this is under uccx training we will copy this path click on ok now we have the prompt variable added now we will add the if statement click on properties expand it first we will capture the month of the current date We'll go to the date section. Current date dot month. We will see if it is equal to seven. We will have to add another condition to address day of week. For that, we will add d now dot day of week equal to equal to seven, which is Saturday. 7 is equal to Saturday. Now we have to add the logic to capture the second week. The logic that I'm going to use is the date uh, should be greater than or equal to 8 or less than or equal to 14. So for that, what we will do is we'll again put D now dot date should be greater than we will go for Boolean expression and we will use greater than or greater or equal to operator it should be greater than or equal to 8 and we will add the next condition as well and we will again go to date d now dot date now again go to boolean should be less than or equal to 14 that successfully captures the second week and we'll put everything in the brace and we will click apply if there is an error it is going to give us an error while clicking on the apply button seems to be okay and click on okay apply okay now, if the statement is true, we have to play a prompt to the user informing that the office is closed for Memorial Day, right? So we will add a play prompt. We will go to media. And here in the media, we will use the play prompt and drag it on top of true. Click on properties, prompt, and we'll select the prompt variable that we have defined memorial day apply okay now after playing the prompt we have to move the control to the end of the script which is label one we will use a go to statement for that we will select the go to statement and keep it on top of play prompt and click on properties and choose the label one apply okay now let's validate the script click on validate script validation is succeeded file save as we will rename it as memorial day memorial day script save replace it we will go to applications, script management, upload scripts, browse, memorial day script, open, upload, overwrite, refresh the script, yes, now the script is refreshed, I will give a test call, dial, Thank you for calling. Our office is closed for Memorial Day. 
If you have an urgent matter, please leave a detailed message and we'll respond promptly on the next business day. Thank you for calling. Bye-bye. The script and the logic is working as expected. Now let's do a reactive debug that will give you a better understanding of the logic. For that, we'll go to script editor, debug, reactive script. We'll select the script, memorial day script. We'll select 120 seconds of wait time. Click OK. Now we'll make the call again. It is ringing. Except now the control is moved to date string. If you look at the date string variable right now, the value is empty. If I make another step, now the value is populated here. And now the script moves to the if statement. Now it checks for the condition and it identifies to be true so that it enters to the true statement and it will be playing the play prompt in the next step. Thank you for calling. Our office is closed for Memorial Day. If you have an urgent matter, please leave a detailed message and we'll respond promptly on the next business day. Now the control is moved to go to level one. If I click on step over, then the control is now transferred to level one. And again, it will be playing the final prompt, which is the buy message. I'll click step over. Thank you for calling. Bye-bye. And we have reached the end statement. That's all about today's video. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll be uploading more videos like this in coming days. So hit the like button and subscribe to this channel to get updates on our post. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day ahead.